so I'm over here walking down about to go see what's up at this Nike. Um, we saw these at another store today. This is like that rookie of the year Jordan 1 colorway. 135 for the Elevate, not too bad. First time actually seeing this colorway, black and white. 130 on the retail for these. Now, I've I seen this uh, print on like some Air Max 90s and Air Max 1s. Now we got them on the Air Max Plus, Air Max TN. What do you guys think about this colorway? I like this color combination on this Air Max 90. It's like a satin with the leather. Color combination is definitely on point. Rated from a one to 10, retail is 130 bucks. Seeing this shoe, man, the Air Max Solo. Been seeing it in a few colorways. This first time seeing it in black and white. Pretty clean color combination on these. They even got some popular dunks right here. This is the cacao dunk, right? A lot of people like these. Let me know if you guys think about these in hand. Seven and a half, seven and a half right here. Maybe somebody might want these or not. They got pandas on deck too, as well as those, man. This is like the canary yellow or Alamorello Alam yellow. This yellow colorway on this Nike Dunk Low is not bad. University Blue is probably the best one so far and maybe the black and white one. I like the color combination on this laser. Good materials. Color combination, not bad either, 125 in the retail. They have a yellow one also, but this has more of a canvas material. The other one has like a new book or a suede. They got a new running shoe right here. Nike Movida, the Nike Movida. What do you guys think about this one? Definitely a new shoe, 110 on the retail. The mid midsole cushioning is crazy. Yet another colorway of the Cosmic Unity 3. This one's definitely not bad, like a black and white with some light blue in there too. And that Cosmic Unity as well as this uh, Zoom GT2 cut. This one's definitely fire if you ask me. Still one of my favorite colorways of the Sabrina one so far. A lot more on the way. What do you guys think about this one? Then they got this colorway on the Comfort. I just seen this in another model too on the uh, Jordan 678 for women. What do you guys think about this Comfort? It's like that Miami Hurricane vibe material. Definitely looks dope. First time seeing the Stadium 90 in this color combination. This is fire. One in 10 scale rate this colorway for me. I like this one right here. Let me know what you guys think about this. Stadium 90 in like this white and different type of green. It's kind of different here. I'm not mad at these. They kind of remind me of some Kobe silhouettes, especially from this silhouette, from this right here. What Kobe silhouette does this look like right here? I'll put it in the comments so I can show you, but these are crazy. Still have some of these 11s on deck here too. And we've definitely seen this one before, but this colorway is just dope. The lighting in here makes it look even better. Of course, it gives you mocha vibes with the brown and brown with the cell colorway, not bad. And then these right here, I like the color combination. Materials we've seen before. What do you guys think about these, 110? So common here, they're just chilling on display everywhere, bro. You just can't get away from them. They definitely have you covered if you guys are looking for pandas here. But this Nike definitely has a great selection of stuff. Let's go upstairs and see what's up there. Never seen this upstairs, but you got the screens going on upstairs. This stuff looks pretty dope. I like the way this setup is. This store is definitely much better than it used to look like before they did the remodel, which was some months ago. So I'm going upstairs to see what's up here right now. First time seeing this color combination. Got the Jewel Wings logo on the back. This colorway is actually dope. I like the materials on here too. Can't go wrong with this colorway. Rate this from a one to 10. They also got these on deck too. Great selection right off the bat. One of the more recent colorways of the Air Max 95 to release. I definitely see images of these online. Not a bad colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Might be picking this up for a member right here. This is seven and a half in hand. So we might be scooping this up right here. Pretty dope. So we got something for one member. We're about to look around some more and see what else we can come across. As I'm looking at these though, definitely on point. I like the color combination. I feel like these are those Serena Williams, but I could be wrong. Got a different flavor on this Air Max. Different flavor on this Air Max 90. Look at the materials on here. Definitely clean, one in 10 scale. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Now let's go back upstairs. Yeah, so we did come back and get those cacao dunks for one of my channel members. I was right upstairs about to get some, or check out some of the Nike basketball. One of my members hit me and was like, yo, they got it in a seven and a half or a nine. I was like, let me go ahead and check and see. Luckily they did. 
so we went downstairs to grab them up and luckily it was a good thing I stopped what I was doing because if I'd have waited any longer there was another couple right after me trying to scoop them up but luckily they were already going to go ahead and get mine first and I had got the last pair so it was perfect timing look at this selection here never seen this colorway of the Cosby Unity so many dope colorways of this shoe man I'm not even going to lie to you this one's pretty fire let me know what you guys think the latest colorway of the Luca 2. Ridiculous, bro. This is the one I'm talking about. I think this is the best colorway so far, the Luca 2. The Nebula one is also fire. But let me know what you guys think about this. 140 on the retail. We got the Jordan Tatum 1 in the denim colorway. Finally getting a chance to see this in hand. And this colorway is on point, bro. Let me know if you guys are feeling the Tatum 1 overall and what do you guys think about this colorway. This Jordan one low here it has some pretty good leather quality. If you guys can see the wrinkling going on there, color combination is different. Also, it looks like it would glow in the dark, but I'm not sure if it actually does. Let me know what you guys think about these Jordan ones. New LeBron collab right here, definitely a fire colorway on this one. Rate this from a one to ten, and did you guys go after this? Two twenty, two fifty on the retail for this LeBron actually. Yet another colorway of the Cosmic Unity three. First time seeing this colorway in hand. A lot of colorways of the Cosmic Unity 3, and I'm and I'm impressed by most of them. I haven't really seen too many bad colorways yet. Navy blue and white colorway of the Cosmic Unity 3. This navy blue colorway is definitely on point as well. Air zoom structure wide, 130 on the retail. Looks like it's a comfortable shoe. Haven't ever tried it on before. If you have, give us some feedback in the comments below. This is that new Hustle GT 2. This colorway is not bad. The shape of the shoe is pretty interesting. I want to see more colorways, but I do like this colorway in hand. What do you guys think about these? This location is dope. A lot of people here. A lot of shoes to choose from. Oh, we got more right here. I thought we were done. We got the Hustle 2 in this yellow colorway. Seeing this one online, first time seeing, seeing this in hand. Definitely not a bad silhouette. I like the outsole too on this one. Pretty crazy. Rate this from a 1 to 10. The colorway of the Pegasus 40 that I haven't seen yet. Not a bad colorway here. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As I said, this store has a lot of shoes upstairs and downstairs. A great selection of shoes to choose from. Let me know what are some of your standouts and if there's something here you would grab. Let me know in the comments. The run shoe looks, looks bulky, but it looks like it's on point. I like this. This colorway is pretty dope. 1 in 10, I give it a solid 7.5, maybe even an 8. Maybe even a 9. Pretty dope situation here. Oh, Nike store. Let's go ahead and see back over here with some more shoes. Just trying to see if there's any more basketball shoes that we passed on the last time here. LeBron's, LeBron's, KD16s, which we have seen before. Other two colorways, this has to be by far the best one. I mean, the Umpro's on the way. Let me know if you guys like the Umpro or this one more. And we've seen this kind of a unity. I feel like I've seen it at the last Nike over there, like in Glendale. But then again, I feel like I maybe missed this colorway too, so that's why I'm getting it on camera now. Got more pandas up here, as we've seen, blazers. Look at these blazers, kind of different color combination, different bulky material. SBs? I say SB on the tongue? SB blazers? AJKOs here in that uh, blue and yellow colorway, not bad. Pretty dope colorway for these. Then they got these lows in the Fly East colorway, never seen these before. Jordan one low Fly East in the bread colorway too. Definitely can't go wrong with this one. Don't recall seeing this colorway on the Air Max 97. Leather and canvas materials. 180 on the retail. Definitely a dope colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these. Definitely haven't seen these in a little while. Jordan 2 low, the Sea Sucker. Interesting colorway like a picnic table or a dad shirt. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. This maroon colorway just stands out to me a little bit. Let me know if you guys like these or not. Give me your thoughts about these in the comments below. This display is dope. I guess it kind of tells you what size is available and if the weight of the shoe gives you all the information on the shoe once you put it here. Pretty dope situation. Very digital and technology driven. And yet another colorway, Nike React Infinity Run 4, the SE. This colorway is not bad. Haven't seen this color combination yet. Are you guys a fan of this shoe? Very comfortable. These are definitely something I would recommend if you're looking for a running shoe, a comfortable shoe. Definitely seen these Zoom Freak 5 before. I believe this is a great school exclusive because I haven't seen it in men's sizes at all. Another Zoom Freak 5, like the first colorway I saw online. Haven't seen this in men's sizes yet, only gray school. Maybe this is gray school exclusive. What do you think about this colorway? 
some dunks for the low ski or for the grade school. We definitely seen these before. Grade school, they got these OG lows here too as well. Not a bad selection here. A lot of dope stuff here though. I'm not gonna lie. Trail running stuff, the clothing is on point. This whole section is pretty dope, bro. I like everything they got going on over here. We definitely have to make our way over to this store more often, bro. They got a lot of colorways, a lot of merchandise. I'm sure this place is popping for the holiday season. And they got two dope colorways of the Cosmic Unity 3. Of these two, which one do you guys like more? Got this unique Air Force One right here with the play new. Don't know what kind of special design this is. Maybe it's, uh, oh, it's part of the customization zone. You guys can get different things done for your shoes here. Pretty dope. So I guess this is just one of the examples of what you can do of the mini. You can grab the merch here, stuff around here, and then they can add different things onto it for you and make it custom for yourself. I think that's a dope situation here. I didn't know they had that going on, but man, we might have to take part in this at some point. Dope situation. What do you guys think about these yellow Cortez? Got some good suede on there too. Retail for 90 bucks. You can't go wrong with an instant classic. So this store definitely is what you want to come to and check out if you have an opportunity to out here in Santa Monica on 3rd Street. A lot of stuff here, you dig? Hitting the like button helps a lot. Sharing the video on your other social media platforms so more people can join the channel is definitely perfect. But I'm about to get out of here. Have a good day wherever you are in the universe. Deuces. And so I thought I was done, but who am I kidding? We got Shoe Palace right here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on at the Shoe Palace by the beach. Before they have had some good things, let's go ahead and see if anything's changed. Good stuff, bad stuff, or trash stuff. It looks like it is pretty dead. We might be in and out. We'll be brief because uh, they don't have too much here. They do have these on deck though. The Jordan 4s are still available at certain stores in men's sizes. Has three different colorways of dunks available. Of course, most notably, the Pandas. We have uh, the, the Cacao Jordan 4s. We just picked up the Cacao Dunks right here for a member. They got these Jordan 4s here on deck. Colorways are the form low that I haven't seen. The quality on here is just crazy. 119 on the retail, and this colorway is not bad either. You got that good leather with the suede combination. You can't go wrong with that. I haven't really seen this starter jacket right here. This Dodger starter jacket was pretty dope. Not a bad situation with the Dodgers on the back. They got a Cowboys jacket right next to it. Nothing on the back. Pretty dope though. New colorway of the Gazelle. I like the navy blue suede with the uh, university blue stripes and back tab. Tell me what you guys think about this Air Max 90. Perfect time of year for this to drop. I like this color combination. I like this black and white color combination on the 4D. I feel like this is an oldie but a goodie. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway of this Air Max 95. This definitely reminds me of a pair that came out a long time ago. Not many locations still have these. But they do. A lot of people like these Barclays. Starting off the day, I'm about to take some goodies over here, drop them off at a fight club. They're actually going to need a box. Some Ultra Boost, some of these. We got the Kyrie 7s here, Kyrie 8s, or I mean, my bad, Kyrie 9s. Some Kyrie Infinities and some Pumas, and some more Ultra Boost over there. About to drop these off at Fight Club. And uh, get these listed for an assignment, you dig? Now we're here a couple days later, about to go over to Nike The Grove and see what their inventory is looking like, see if there's anything different there that we haven't seen, like at the last one over by Santa Monica, you dig? If you like what you see, hit the like button, share the video. So this one is definitely much more toned down than the last location we was at, you know what I'm saying? Plus the weekday as opposed to the weekend. They still got these, this is a bigger size too, 12 and a half. You never find these in a 12 and a half, bro. For sure not. Nothing here that we have not seen yet. But they do have this Luca here also. This colorway, definitely one of the best ones so far in my opinion. Then they got the uh, purple HJKO, the court purple and black satin as opposed to the canvas material. Of course, they got the Sabrina ones here, the Jaws as well. So we got some Laker shorts, Nike Nike shorts, Laker Nike shorts, normally 55 down to 44. I feel like there were even more than that. Double XL left in this one. Like that though. First time seeing these in hand. Let me know if you guys like this one. This is the GT Jump 2. Something like what uh, Jokic was wearing. This is the first edition right there. 
this is the new one. I like this colorway, 180 on the retail. At one point, we will try these on, but I like this color combination. And this shoe looks like it's a little bulky, but it definitely has the AirPods you can see in the front, maybe something in the back, or you got React in the back, the AirPods there. Definitely built for somebody like Anthony Davis. Maybe Anthony Davis should wear something like this as opposed to the low Kobe's or LeBron's, but these are definitely on point. This was the first colorway that I saw of the Jump 2. This is fire. I like both of them, man. It is a little funny, a little bulky, you know, but I, I'm not mad at it. I like the details and the materials used. Definitely some ventilation, definitely some spring and cushioning for the midsole. Definitely built for, you know, forwards and centers and bigger guys, you know. But for casual wear, these might not be bad. Kind of gives me a LeBron 19 vibe, kind of, but a little better. If the LeBron 19 came out like this, I think they would have sold out or done better than they did. We've seen these LeBrons before, nothing new here. Sabrina, they got a whole selection for her yeah. downstairs I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Same Cosmic Unities that we saw at the Santa Monica location, nothing new there. Same Zoom Freak 5s, and yes, they are not just grade school. I thought these might just be grade school because that's all I was seeing. But here's actually a men's sizing of this colorway. I forgot the name of it. Let me know if you guys like this one in the comments below. Not really a fan of this colorway, but it might look good on feet. One thing that I did not see at the Santa Monica location was their golf section, and they usually have some crazy stuff, including today at this location. First, we got the Air Max 90 Big Bubble Golf. Not a bad color combination. Definitely some golf vibes, translucent outsole on these, retailing for 170. Then we saw these before, and I'm telling you, this colorway came out in a regular Jordan 6 low with the icy blue outsole. I would scoop it up instantly. And this is the newest iteration of the Jordan 6 low golf. This colorway is not too bad. Not mad at it, man. Different colorways for different sports. Let me know if you guys like these or not. And this selection of running shoes and trail shoes is definitely large here. But we did see these just a little bit early in the video. If there's something here that you're looking at that you didn't see there, just scan back a little bit. I don't think we've seen this colorway, but we definitely seen this silhouette. We did see that colorway on the trail as well as everything else here. I think we've seen this once before. I'm not sure, but I think so. They got this comfort here. Stadium 90s in a dope colorway. Some Jordan 3s, Lucky Green still sitting around. This might be a return, I'm not sure. Maybe they got a restock here. Quality on these threes is definitely on point. Then they got these dunks on the, for the women. This colorway is definitely not bad. I like the uh, floral print over there. Does this upper layer come off? I doubt it. 110 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about these. Of course, they have pandas. Different colorway, different color combination on the women's blazer. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I do like the color combination on this blazer low. 110 on the retail for these. Uh, different colorway of this future. I like this color combination for the women. Pretty clean, whether it's like 150 on the retail. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. This has some really good materials on them, like that suede upper, pretty clean, like cow print, I would call it. 160 for these, it's uh, maybe because of the materials. Let me know what you guys think. The outsole is pretty cool too. We also saw these earlier. I want to see if they come in men's sizes. This looks like it could be a comfortable shoe for sure. Let me know if you guys like these. Got this Volk green colorway on the women's wind horse or women's react wind horse eight. Let me know if you guys like this Volk green colorway. Pretty clean shoe. Different colorway of the turbo next nature. Pegasus turbo next nature. Not a bad situation. It's like crimson, not red. I'm not sure. It's looking more red on the camera more of that crimson colorway and I don't recall seeing this colorway before more intriguing more intrigued by this one give me your thoughts about this of course gray school section always has some pretty interesting stuff some sixes still here ones the palominos as well as the fours and some look twos as well two different shades of Jordan sixes I would hate to have the one that came in hand this looks like a lot more ashy and lighter I like the darker red a little bit more. Let me know if you guys can tell the difference. And if you guys have a pair like this or more like this one. Some of these soccer jerseys look on point. It's just they're too pricey. A little 75. Might find these at Raw soon. 
This black and red one's pretty clean too. A lot of dope merchandise over here. France looks more like UNC stuff right there. They always got this type of heat here. Still drawn to this shirt. This jersey's pretty dope. Just for what it is itself. This is pretty clean colorway right here. I got some more. more uh, this color combination is not bad either. That greenish style. Let me know if you guys are rocking with these or not. And it's purple one too. Eye catching. Very eye catching. All of these colorways is pretty on point, man. For regular wearing. I like them. And like I said, when you walk in, you get the whole Sabrina set up. Her merchandise, the shoes, the clothes. Right now, they only have two colorways on display. More colorways to come. But let me know what you guys overall think about the Sabrina one, AKA the Kyrie shoe. But that's just my opinion. This colorway is definitely fire though. From what I see just getting here, the casual lineup looks pretty much like things we've seen everywhere else. So there's nothing really that, stand, that stands out or that we need to talk about more. Maybe, no, I think we might've seen this color combination on this Air Max 90 before. It's the second colorway in the Nike Dunk Mid, the Canvas Panda colorway. Then I got the reverse of that right there too. Not sure if we've seen this colorway, the P6000, this gray colorway, wolf gray colorway is definitely not bad. Pretty cool selection here, nothing too crazy. Based on that, we're gonna get out of here. If you like what you see in the video, hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe, you dig. Rockefeller is the army, homie. Get money, drink army, won't even fall back. See P cracks, but for niggas and bitches all the same. All I want is my motherfucking money. You know my Uzi. Hey yo, bro, who y'all think got the best handles, yo? Man, Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What? Easy.